For the filming of River of Fundament, we reconstructed Norman Mailer's house in Brooklyn Heights at a one-to-one -one scale. And um, we built that quite accurately in, in the studio and borrowed his library from the, the uh, Mailer estate, borrowed objects from the family, and really tried to bring a level of, of detail and realism to that. And after taking that same set and bringing it out onto the river, putting it on a barge and you know, shooting the exteriors. We built that set so that it could be used both as an interior set and an exterior set. So it was really a house. I mean, it was built like a house. Uh, we brought it out onto the river, filmed on the river. Then Hurricane Sandy hit like two days later after we were filming uh, on the East River, which was quite serendipitous and interesting to see the house we had built and we had art directed to, to kind of degrade over the course of the story to then go through a, a hurricane and flood. I decided after that to build a piece that would take the top floor of, the, of that structure where Mailer had added on a kind of atrium and um, made a place for himself to write uh, a kind of crow's nest at the top of this boat. And um, um, to reconstruct that as a piece invert it as if it were a boat or a ship in a shipyard and to put the, the tide lines of, a, of either a vessel in the, the water or an object that had been through a flood and to collide that with the language of a burial chamber. Um, so at the center of that piece you have a, a, a sand mold that is proportionally similar to that crow's nest that, that Mailer built where his desk would sit and he would sit and write. That sand mold holds a bronze casting of that desk and draped over that desk is the, the straight jacket of James Lee Byers, uh, gold plated. Yeah, so there were a number of languages sort of layered upon one another with Boat of Ra, I guess the last of which is the the boat of Ra, the, the funerary barge um, that carries the deceased across the, uh, the river. I mean, technically, the way we made that piece, the architecture was rebuilt in pine and it was sandblasted for days and days to erode the soft aspect of the grain, the wood grain, uh, away and leave behind the, the hard aspect of the wood grain. And that was that was done above the, what would be the title line of the piece, and it was kept intact below. Same thing with the furniture inside, and the ladders that, uh, that Mailer would use to climb each day from the domestic part of the house up to his workspace at the top. Like work I've made before, I think there's certainly a narrative thread that runs through all of this work and that there's this, there's a kind of a system that's established with the film that leads to these narrative sculptures, that you know, out of this narrative, the sculptures are, are derived or distilled. And um, that thread runs certainly through this whole exhibition.